The Indian Hills basketball team found out today that their appeal on the postseason ban was turned down and that for 10 sophomores, the chance to put on a Warrior jersey will never come again. I think we got a bunch of broken-hearted young men here that, that think that they had a real chance to win a national championship. Obviously, our body of work was such that we thought we were right there, um, but it's kind of been taken away from us. The reason for the ban was due to a violation when college president Jim Lindenmeyer bailed Indian Hills player Ronald Ross out of jail. Lindenmeyer stated he was not aware of the rule but knew he did not want to leave a player behind at an out-of-town facility under those circumstances. I, I think as Dr. Lindenmeyer's statement said earlier today, he's absolutely correct that, that you know, a couple of things were in play there. He really feared for the safety of the player if he had stayed behind uh, without going back with his teammates. And number two, that that's been the policy at Indian Hills Community College for a long time is that whoever is in charge, whether it be a coach, whether it be an, an advisor, whether it be a chaperone, whoever is in charge for taking a group off campus, then they come back with the same group that they took with them. Coach Peary told me this afternoon that after speaking to his players, telling them that the appeal didn't go through, there wasn't a person in the room without tears in their eyes not being able to play for one of these. Well, I think that decisions were make, made pretty hastily by the NJCA. I think if, if they could have spent more time in actually evaluating what really went on, I think that we would have had a different answer. Time was of the essence being late in the season like this. Um, but yeah, I'm disappointed. I, I, it's not a secret that I think they made a mistake, uh, and I don't think that we were in the wrong. I don't think us at Indian Hills did things wrong or improper. I think we've been on the up and up and done things the right way, and we've always been like that. The probationary period assigned to the college by the NJCAA will end with the postseason, so the violation won't have any effect on next season. I think my initial reaction is you really feel sorry for the players and the coaches who have put in so much time and energy, you know, going back to the preseason and then when practice officially started on October 1st. And to know firsthand all of the work that goes into a season like this, to have it be as successful as it was up until this point, and then to not be able to complete that with the ultimate goal all season long, the stated goal was to win a national championship. For Indian Hills players and fans, it'll be one more year till the Warriors have another chance at a basketball title. In Ottumwa, Ben Jordan, KTVO Sports.